So, you want to learn how to combine a couple different objects together using the Boolean tool and a couple other tools in Blender 2.8. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender, once again, taking a look at uh, what I just said, as always. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use, uh, not default cube today, I'm sorry, we're going to delete the default cube, um, hit delete on my keyboard, and hit shift A to add in an icosphere, whatever objects you're trying to combine. I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate this. We'll just move it about right there. So now you can see maybe I want to connect these two icospheres. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. I want to connect both of them. So I'm going to hold down shift. And what we could do was, uh, you know, you could go up to object and hit join. And then it would be the same object. So I can just move them around together. But if I hit tab and go into edit mode, you can see if I select one of them and then hit uh, L on my keyboard to select linked. I can hit G to move them and they're not really combined. So that's kind of like a fake combining. It's just combining the objects and not the meshes. So let me undo that. So we'll go ahead and hit, hit, uh, hold down shift, select both of those. Um, and now I want to go ahead and name these actually. So we'll go ahead and name the icosphere. We'll call this uh, ball one and then we'll call this one ball two. Uh, sounds like good names. All right, there we go. Sweet. So uh, we're going to select both of them by holding down shift, select both those. Uh, and I'm going to go to the modifiers tab here with the little wrench tool. Hit add modifier, and I'm going to go to, to uh, Boolean and select that. Now, down here on Boolean, we have this uh, ob option to choose object. We're going to select ball one. Now, that's uh, our other ball, of course. So what I can do with this is uh, if I select the operation and change it from difference to union, you can see that it will combine them. So I hit apply, and now you can see that if I select the other ball, we don't need that anymore. I hit delete on that. Uh, that's what's causing the glitching. Now, if I if I do this, it's the same thing as when we hit join, but now they're actually combined. And if we go to tab and hit edit to go into edit mode, um, you can see that they're out, they are actually uh, two uh, together. They're actually together. They're not two separate meshes. Now, there's a problem because they still don't look that great because we have a couple of weird vertices in here and like all this stuff because all these weird edges and whatnot. So we can fix that really super easy. Like this down here is really bad. Um, we can fix that super easily by going ahead and going to add modifier. And then we can go all the way on down here to subdivision surface. Now we can subdivide this a little bit first off. So I'll just do maybe um, maybe even something just as small as two and two. Maybe I think we do that two and two. Um, actually, we can get away with one and one to be honest with you. So one on the viewport, one on the render. Just soften those edges up, but just a little, just a tad. And then we'll go to add modifier, and we can choose the remesh modifier to and select instead of sharp. We'll go to smooth. And now we can we can see that we got some pretty good looking stuff here going on so far. Now we can go ahead and, and bump up this octree depth, but we don't really need to. I, th I think I'm going to leave it on five for now. And we're going to go ahead and go down to add another modifier. And this one will be our final modifier. It'll be another subdivision surface. And now we can go ahead and play around with a couple of these settings here. Now we have a little bit of this texture on here, which I don't like. So we're going to bump up this uh, subdivision to maybe three and three for that one. I'm going to turn down the octree depth from five to maybe three maybe i'll yeah see the higher you go on some of these numbers the more kind of lumpy and stuff it'll be so um yeah i think we're gonna i think we're gonna stick with that you can also go all the way down to two if you need it to be super smooth and you just want to combine them in the first place but if you want to be two semi ball shapes you can go ahead and do that you can also change the scale which i don't really recommend doing because uh, it's not going to change too much in the first place. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be that. I want to go ahead and maybe down that octree depth one more. Maybe about right there. Maybe bump this bad boy up a little bit more. There we go. And now we can go ahead and hit apply on all of these uh, and go to object, shade, smooth. Now you can see we have two icospheres that have now been combined. We still got some of those icosphere edges, which is nice. Uh, and that looks pretty good. Now you have a couple of inconsistencies here and stuff like that, but uh, it will get the job done if you do want to combine two objects and they're having problems going together. So like if you want to combine a Suzanne and a Suzanne, you're obviously going to have some problems with um, <laughs> with uh, with vertices because these two meshes just don't like going together well. So if I union these, delete that one, oh no, delete that one because we don't need it. Now you can see if I go into this, we're going to have a lot of problems. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really strange. But they are combined now. They are once they are one single object. You can always do the little trick that I said. It's like a little workaround just to be able to uh, use it a little bit easier than what you would if you were um, <laughs> if you were using a, a different a different uh, object. So like I said, some objects are gonna be more difficult than other objects to make look proper. But you can see you can get a pretty nice uh, little thing going on here. Suzanne's eyes are all messed up because the eyes are disconnected. But yeah, so I will see you guys and girls in the next one. Um, but until then, bye bye.